All right, everybody, welcome back. JimmyChurchRadio.com. I am your host, Jimmy Church, KJCR. Shoot us an email at Jimmy at JimmyChurchRadio.com. Follow us on Twitter at JChurchRadio. Go over to YouTube. Check out the video that brought down Joe Baterno. Ho, ho, ho. That video, I want everybody to understand, that video we tweeted and YouTubed and broadcast this show Friday, November 4th, two, maybe three days before the media picked up on this. People on YouTube certainly picked up on the video. That thing went viral. Okay, I'm not saying I had anything to do with it, or, or Hilton, or Charlie, who, who is really the guilty party here. But, but go check out that video. My hands are shaking in that video. I didn't know what I was reading at the time. Made the choice. Let's go ahead and run with this. The whole weekend came and went. Nobody was reporting on the story, and I was thinking we made a bad mistake. <laughs> that maybe this wasn't true. Maybe it was something misleading on the internet. But then everything, all hell broke loose, and now Joe Paterno was fired today. But go check out the original video, which is called Jerry Sandusky is a Child Molester Pervert. Okay, here we go. You ready? This is what I got for you now. Mike McCrary, he's the one. Mike McCrary is the one. He can answer everything. So what I have compiled right here, ladies and gentlemen. The top 10 questions I would ask Mike McCrary, if I was the sideline reporter right now, <laughs> what would I ask Mike McCrary? I got the top 10 questions, okay? All right, the rest of the media out there, a bunch of chicken littles, I want to say something else. What, what's up, Bill? I just want to know, when you do the list, you're going to go from 10 to 1? I'm going to go 10 to 1. Okay, cool. Okay, all right? All no, right. but the numbers are reversed on your list. I've got them here. This, oh. is, this is correct. Okay. The Jimmy list. I'm sorry I didn't distribute the real list to you. Right. So, here we go. Question number 10, I would ask Mike McCrary. Did you follow up with Paterno and Tim Curley about Sandusky? If so, when? And how many times? Number 9. Did Penn State offer you your position with the football program to silence you? Number 8. Did you interact or see Sandusky on a daily basis? How often? Did you speak to him? Number seven, did you look up to Sandusky before witnessing the rape? Were you a fan of Sandusky before you saw that rape? Did you admire that man? Number six, you were 28 at the time when you saw the rape. Why did you call your father instead of the police? What grown man calls his father? Number five, if you saw someone breaking into your car or stealing it and then stealing it, would you then call your father first or would you call the police? Number four, knowing what you saw Jerry Sandusky do, didn't it creep you out when you saw him around campus or when you saw him around children? And if it didn't creep you out, why? Number three, if the grand jury hadn't subpoenaed you, would you have come forward anyway? I want to know. You were silent for nine years. If you hadn't have been subpoenaed. Number two, how did you live with yourself over the last nine years? How did you live with I mean, how, how did you live with yourself, Mike McCrary? And the number one question I would ask, Mike McCrary, did Jerry Sandusky rape you? And did you like it? That's right. Wow. This, this is JimmyChurchRadio.com. I'm not playing. Email me. Sue me, Mike McCrary. <laughs> JimmyChurchRadio.com. That redhead has got some questions to answer. We'll be back right after this.